take a look at inventory management. As you'll learn next, uncontrolled inventory can lead to huge costs for manufacturing operations. Consequently, managers need good measures of inventory to prevent inventory costs from becoming too large. Three basic measures of inventory are average aggregate inventory, weeks of supply, and inventory turnover. Companies often measure average aggregate inventory, which is the average overall inventory during a particular period of time. Too few weeks of inventory on hand, and a company risks a stockout, running out of inventory. Another common inventory measure, inventory turnover, is the number of times per year that a company sells or turns over its average inventory. In general, the higher number of inventory turns, the better. In practice, a high inventory turnover means that a company can continue its daily operations with just a small amount of inventory on hand. Maintaining an inventory incurs four kinds of costs, ordering, setup, holding, and stockout. Setup cost is the cost of changing or adjusting machines so that it can produce a different kind of inventory. Holding cost, also known as carrying or storage cost, is the cost of keeping inventory until it's used or sold. Inventory management has two basic goals. The first is to avoid running out of stock and thus angering and dissatisfying customers. This goal seeks to increase inventory to a safe level that won't risk stockouts. The second is to efficiently reduce inventory levels and cost as much as possible without impairing daily operations. This goal seeks a minimum level of inventory. Economic order quantity, or EOQ, is a system of formulas that helps determine how much and how often inventory should be ordered. EOQ takes into account the overall demand, D, for a product, while trying to minimize ordering costs, O, and holding costs, H. With just-in-time inventory systems, component parts arrive from suppliers just as they're needed at each stage of production. By having parts arrive just in time, the manufacturer has little inventory on hand and thus avoids the costs associated with holding inventory. Materials Requirement Planning, or MRP, is a production in inventory system that, from the beginning to the end, precisely determines the production schedule, production batch sizes, and inventories needed to complete final products. What inventory management system should you use? Economic order quantity, or EOQ, formulas are intended for use with independent demand systems in which the level of one kind of inventory does not depend on another. By contrast, Just-in-Time and MRP are dependent demand systems, in which the level of inventory depends on the number of finished work units to be produced.